don't worry, I am not starting another vlog by saying how cold it is. But I will tell you the outside temperature because I checked it just a moment ago and it's minus three. So that's me just giving you a temperature update, not saying how cold it is today. <laughs> Welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. Um, once again, I am doing a pretty rubbish job of picking up the camera and filming. I've had a busy day. I've driven, where have I been? I've had my piano lesson this morning. Then I drove north to pick up um, a bargain from Facebook Marketplace because my overlocker broke recently. And for those of you who don't know what an overlocker is, it's a kind of sewing machine that finishes seams really nicely. Um, and it broke. I mean, couldn't be a worse time just before Christmas for it to break. And so rather than spending hundreds of pounds on a new one, I managed to track one down on Facebook Marketplace that had only been used once, which is quite handy because a lot of people get them and then realise that actually they're quite complicated to use and they don't know how to thread them. And so they sort of decide to sell them quite quickly. So um, I picked up a very good bargain there and I'll pop a photo here uh, of my new overlocker, which I'm very pleased to have and I'll hopefully get it threaded up tomorrow and be back up and running. So, so that will be good. Um, and then I came back and my sister came to visit this afternoon and her husband and we have had a jolly afternoon um, sitting and chatting about all sorts of wonderful things and reminiscing. Oh, it's been really, really good. We've had a lovely, lovely afternoon. Uh, and this, this evening, I'm off to Zumba with my friend Tracy. So I thought I had better get a move on and open my advent calendars. I've also got a cheeky cup of soup here because I can't really eat too much before I start prancing around at Zumba. So cup of soup is, is just perfect, especially when the weather is minus three outside. Not that I'm complaining about it being cold. <laughs> this one's got croutons in, so it's a little bit crunchy. Right. How are you all? Are you all okay? Have you had a good Wednesday? I hope so. Right, today's stitch marker. It's like a little pearl. And I thought it looked a bit like a Christmas bauble. And that's why I chose these for the calendar. Now, everybody has got a different colour. Um, well, there's about six, six different colours. Uh, pink, green, blue, purple, white, gold. Uh, and as you can see, I've got a green one. So they're really pretty, isn't it? A little bit of sparkle there. So that was day 14 of the Mrs G Makes Advent Calendar. Let's try the tea one. I'll tell you what, over Christmas, I'm gonna to have to get on and drink these teas because I'm not doing too well at the moment with them. 14. It is 14, isn't it? Yes, it is 14. Ghostly green. Oh, I think we've had ghostly green before, haven't we? Ghostly green. So dark. Cinnamon, ginger, peppermint, and rose petals. It's not a particularly strong smelling one, I don't think, that. 
No, that might have been the one that I wasn't too keen on. But I'll give it another go. Thank you, Suzanne, for my advent calendar. Aunt Sister's great. <laughs> now, what number was I using? Number four, I think, in my Snuggle Bums uh, yarn advent. The, yes, the scarf's coming along very nicely. And I actually used day four yesterday. So I think tonight I'm going to have to be winding number five up. Let's have a look for number 14. Ooh, that's nice. It looks in this light, sort of quite a limey green background there. I do apologise, this really isn't the best light to be opening advent calendars. Very nice. It'll be such a colourful rainbow scarf. Beautiful. Right. Oh. Beyond the pink door. Number 14. You'll be pleased to know Amy is feeling much better. Yesterday she was very poorly indeed. Um, if you've seen some of my earlier vlogs, she started with a cold on Sunday. Sunday, Monday, it was just all in her head. And then yesterday, oh my goodness, she came down looking absolutely shocking. And she had a duvet day. She just sat and did nothing all day. Uh, but this morning, she's woken up like a new woman. Such a relief. She's still a bit um, sort of full of cold, but her eyes aren't puffy, they're not red, and um, she's able to do a few bits and pieces. So, so we're on the homeward stretch now. Oh, number 14's a big one. Ooh. Look at that. That is a big one. I'm coming closer because I think you can see me a bit better. Oh! This is a button maker so you can do your own cupboard buttons. Get metal discs. Oh, I wonder if tomorrow might be some metal uh, buttons so that you can, um, so you've got everything that you need. Ooh, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I'm not going to sneak at number 15. I am not going to sneak at number 15. But yes, that is very, very useful. I can remember my mum having one of these years ago um, and making covered buttons. Thank you very much, Andrea. Another fabulous gift. So, I'm going to go and pop my stitch marker on my pink tree. And then I have got um, a, a very glamorous bow here that I need to show you. My sister came over um, and brought us all some presents for Christmas. Um, so I've popped them under the tree and I have to say she has excelled herself with this bow. I'm quite impressed. So I'll do a little video of that to pop in as well. Right, I might see you later. Hopefully I will because I've got Zoom with my crochet ladies tonight as well. And I don't normally manage to get on um, a Wednesday night because I do Zumba, but I might try and just sneak on for the last 15 minutes uh, just to say hello to everybody. All right, so I might do a little bit of footage then. So enjoy um, the rest of your evening and uh, I shall speak to you shortly. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.
where shall I put it? 